now guys let's see what we are going to create today um i have something in mind i need to create an abstract an abstract object well we are going to learn something from it so let's just pick a um, plane and scale it you can press 5 to smooth it okay so we just pick a sphere and let's see at the end of this you can give it a name don't worry okay we just want this to touch the plane just a little bit right here okay so next stop now is to let's quickly use our channel box and reduce this subdivision okay let's use our um, should be okay let's select some faces here I want to select this hold on the shift key select this one and also this one so I will skip this part do the selection again here So let's select this as well. Okay. So the next thing for us to do is to use the extrude tool. Just change the position of this then we click on this box and scale it in just a little bit we press G on the keyboard to repeat the last command that's what that does in Maya if you press G it's going to repeat the last command okay so maybe we can play with this value a little bit selecting this curve from here 0.8 should work okay 0 0.0.9 0 0.7 0.89 you know what let's just select this and move it just want a little bit so 4.99 is good we just delete that so that we have opening somewhere here so let's select this and press 3 you can see how it look it's not looking bad let's press 1 this is how it looks on 1 Okay, let's subdivide this. We just go to Mesh Smooth. Press 3 now. You can see. Looks a little bit better. Aside for the fact that we are having this. So let's press 1. Let's undo the subdivision. Okay, so let's come over to this place and increase this curve. I 
and just say 0.9 okay so we can smooth these now let's press 3 so you can see we no longer have we no longer have that the vertex overlapping each other again all right well, then we can work with this now the next thing to do is to create another sphere and move it up then we scale this because we want this to be inside of this other one so i'm going to like bring it very close i can use this uh, other view to make sure that this is positioned very well and then i'll scale it all right so up to that point i don't know what you might call this but it's very much interesting to me okay I'm beginning to have some stuff here some of the shape coming out I don't want that so I'll press straight to smooth this that will take care of that okay this is nice um, let's now get into the interesting part we are going to texture this by going to windows then we open up from rendering hyper uh, rendering hyper shade okay so let's go ahead and use a mental ray because mental ray is nice just use mental ray i'll just drag and drop that on top of that place then i want to double click on the mental ray come over to the advanced section so we have the advanced section we have um, additional color we want to apply we can use texture and let's use the light surface okay so now that we've applied that by the time we render this okay we have to use mental ray so you'll see some brightness inside okay now the next thing to do is for us to tell the renderer not to use the default light okay then we can also turn on final gather and global illumination so let's render this again okay so we are beginning to get something more interesting now so let's come over to this place and change these lights to something like cyan then the final gather contribution we can increase that to 10 okay so let's position this very well let's render now we are gonna get something more better so that is it so you can see this is beginning to look nice the way we want it to now the next thing for us to do is we can open up the render settings and increase the final gather the point interpolation to 100 then we can increase the accuracy a little bit to 200 then we render this again can see we have a very nice output so this can be used for your motion graphics or maybe for compositing or something else I'm very sure this will be very useful to you uh, let me go ahead and save it as JPEG I will save it on my desktop just save it inside a particular folder you can call it abstracts Abstract ball MA. Okay, um, I want to keep this image just to show you something. Um, I can still apply texture to this. You can just apply normal fungi to it and make the color black, increase the specular, 
and the cushion power then the reflectivity i can bump down so by the time we render it we can still have a good result you can see that compared to the other one So any of these will be useful for you. I believe you've learned something today in this tutorial. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you've not and don't forget to leave your comment in the description box to for us to get back to you on any of the issue you're having in any of this computer application. Thank you for watching guys. See you next time.